what's going on guys this is Steven with another pixel for life video tutorial so we are going to continue along with this corporate design and today we are going to be working on the center area now I made this logo in, in Illustrator and I just imported it into here uh, you can use whatever you want I just need uh, some kind of image for this middle area or else it looks pretty plain so above this blue background I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm going to uh, grab my brush tool and have white as my foreground color bring out the brush tool to a nice size Oh, let's bring the hardness all the way down um, let's go with something like that and then I'm going to lower the opacity just so it brightens up around that area and then I'm going to uh, grab this selection inverse and delete so it deletes the white outside the blue area I'm going to lower that opacity just a little bit more. And let's try creating another one and grabbing yellow. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to look, but we'll learn. Um, I'm going to go at about this size right here and bring that down quite a bit. Let's try with it off, with it on. Maybe bring it down just a little bit to about 40%. I don't know. Just to spice it up a bit. I'm just going to group this together and call this middle image and um, I'm gonna have some text on this left side and then alright so I'm gonna drag out a text box here and we're gonna go sample header and let's make the font white and then we'll go uh, let's just sample text put a space here highlight it go to your uh, your character settings and then lower this height just so the space isn't so high something like that and then select that we're not gonna make it bold we're gonna have it regular oops regular and then lower the size to about I don't know 17 or so sample tax I'll change this to lower mip some right uh, later right now I just wanna get uh, get this out so I'm just gonna highlight and paste that Oh. All right, it looks like crap, but whatever. We're going to change it to lorem ipsum, lorem ipsum, whatever it is. Later on, it's going to look nice. So I'm going to go to drop shadow. I'm going to give it a slight hard drop shadow that you see in a lot of new websites nowadays. And the distance is going to be one, I think it is. Spread is going to be 100. Size zero. So it's very slight, but it stands out. You can see before, after. It looks much more solid and crisp with it. Alright, so keep it as is, and I'm going to delete some of this text, it just looks horrible. Alright, and then I'm going to bring it down, something like that. And I don't really have this size at all, I'm just guessing at what, what's going to look good. So let's leave it right there, and then I want to create two buttons. One right here that says like uh, about us, and then view more, or something like that. So let's just grab this whole thing, and name this blue area. I'll create a new layer and then grab your rounded rectangle tool and let's change this color to a, a green alright so I'm gonna drag out a box here about that size again just guess them with it uh, gradient overlay select that or let's not do a gradient overlay let's just leave it as is and then duplicate that layer double click it stroke one pixel inside white and if you watch my other tutorials you'll know that this is uh, just to create a nice highlight lower down the lower the fill all the way to zero make a new layer command E to uh, merge that I'm gonna arrow down one pixel and then select all the way up to the end of the curve and delete and then lower that opacity just so it's a nice little looking nice looking highlight uh, Click D and X to make your foreground white, and we're going to go learn about us. We're going to make the font size bold, and we'll make it, let's go with 18 pixels. And then I'm going to center it, and that looks off center, so I'm going to have to do it by eye. Something like that. And then above this layer I'm gonna draw out a square to give it a slight gloss 
I know gloss is a bit overused, but uh, I'm going to do it very minimal so you can barely tell it's there. And then lower that way down, way down. Something like that. It's 12%. Alright, so again, I want to uh, add a slight drop shadow to this text. So we're going to do distance 1, spread all the way up this 0. Alright, and then the color. We're going to grab this green and just make it uh, an off-white, I guess. I don't know, it's not looking too nice. We'll leave it at that. Go back to Drop Shadow and lower the opacity just, just a bit. Alright, so we'll have it at about 40%. That's good. And I'm going to group this together. And we're going to name this Learn Button. Slide it over. Uh, duplicate it by holding down Alt and Shift. <clears throat> and then just change this color to, um, what's a good looking color? Uh... Alright, let's go with that. It's a little bright, but we'll, we'll live with it. Alright, so let's change this text to, um, what are we going to call it? directions to us and then again you're gonna center it okay that's looking pretty good for this for this top area now I want to uh, let's change this to directions button I want to have a black line at the bottom here just to give it some space and I'm gonna to go to the pencil tool and just like we did in the top I'm gonna draw hold down shift draw that out and go command I and that's going to make the white to black and let's lower the opacity just very slight we'll change it to about 80 percent alright and I'm going to move this image over the middle image I'm going to move it to the right just slightly so, so it's inside of this uh, this third section over here alright and we'll play with that later. I'm going to leave it at that. Save it. And now um, our next part is to work on this text down here. And we're coming at about 8 minutes right now. So I'm going to stop this tutorial here. And in the next section we're going to create these three boxes. Uh, it's going to look pretty nice when it's finished. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.